It's me, your little boy, K. Samson. You know, this video is going to sound so hard, but let me tell you two things. <laughs> you are not bowing down to them, or you are not bound to them, and they are wondering. Now you are standing. You know, let me tell you two things. This is something that me, myself, have encountered. That is why I'm here to give as many as you are out there that are still going through some challenges in life. That maybe in one stage to another, some people make you feel like, you know, you will crumble, you will fold, you won't be able to succeed it. But let me tell you, he who laughs first can never laugh last. Because the truth is that two masters cannot rule in one word, in one place, in one room. It can never. Two masters cannot rule in one place. An egg cannot be laid in the same minute. Meaning, two eggs cannot come out from one hole. That is what I mean. Meaning that you may be going through difficulties. People may be mocking you. People may be laughing at you. But at the end, those who mock you at the beginning can never mock you at the last. Meaning that those who are mocking you now, you may not mock them because you are what you are nice and good. But your success will do the worst than what you can do. So that is why you need to understand that things may not be going well, but keep focusing on yourself. In a due season, Many people will start to realize what they lost. And some people who left you because they want to see how you will succeed. Or they expect you to bow down to them by coming back to them and plead. Or begging them in order for you to survive. So many of them are going to regret. I can remember when I was in my former place. Where someone do used to tell me... Uh, if I throw you out, if I do this, even if I see you sleeping in the road, I will never bother, no care. But where I am today, I know that I may not be in, in, in that position or I may not be doing something great, but I'm grateful by the grace of God. That is all I'm telling you, that there are people who are wondering how come you are still standing you are not bound down to them. You are not begging them before you survive. You are not begging them before you prove. You know, that is why sometimes, you know, if I'm able to afford water like this, hey, I'm always grateful. <laughs> if I'm able to drink water like this, only water, water, I can't say only water, amazing water. Because I know what I have passed through. I know what I have gone through. That's what I'm telling you. There are people who are tired of the fact that you are still standing. They are wondering because you did not bow down to them. You did not give them. You did not turn them to become God. You did not make them to become God. Because there are people who believe, ah, before you will be able to succeed, we will more, we must surely support you. You know, if we don't support you, you will never be able. We 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 will allow you to suffer. Is it not you? We are going to allow you to suffer. You will suffer. You will suffer. You will never be able to make it. You will never be able to succeed. You will never be able to excel. But trust me, many of them are in regret. Majority of them today are seriously regretting. They are deeply regretting all. Because they have fully come to mess up with their own life. They have fully come to mess up with everything. Because you refuse to bow down to them. You keep doing what you are doing. That is why whatsoever you are able to provide by yourself, be grateful. Don't look at what other people have. Don't look at who is building, who is buying luxurious things. Because there are still people who are jealous of that one you think is little. 
you may be able to buy this water and you will be thinking hey, this is the only water i'm able to buy i don't have enough money but there are still people who are wondering how do you do it how you are able to get it without them how you are able to buy cloth without them how you are able to buy toothpaste without them how you are able to buy your cream without them how you are able to buy your sand and your shoe without them because there are many people who believe that before you will be able to succeed, they must be involved. You must beg them. You must plead with them. You must ask them. But what shocked them is that you are still standing, even without folding, nor crumbling. With, with, without them, you are still doing it. That is why you need to always appreciate God. That is why you need to always appreciate the Father for all that He has done, for all the great things He has did for you. That is why you need to be grateful. That is why you need to be joyful because there are people who are unhappy that God is doing what He is doing for you today. There are people who are unhappy that God is providing all your needs. There are people who are still troubled because the way God is, you know, providing and protecting you, they can't tell why. They can't give the reasons. Remain blessed. May God bless you.